In this time-lapse video demonstration, I'm going to share with you some hints and tips on how I created this portrait of Prince Philip. begin with a wash of burnt umber which has had a little bit of lean medium added to that. Once I have got this initial wash all over I then begin to establish some darker tones. Here I'm using a soft dome blender brush which is actually from my own brush sets um, and I'm able to get some really soft shadow tones in the portrait. At this point I'm not focusing on any kind of details. I use a variety of different brushes. Um, here I'm using a very small detail brush. And here I'm using a typist eraser to erase some fine details around the eyes. Notice how I jump back between adding on the darker tones using more umber and then going back to the erasing. I don't just stay with all darks or all lights. I'm constantly reassessing the tonal values. As you apply one tone, it affects the next.
This underpainting took approximately four hours and I let the underpainting completely dry before moving on to the colour layers. I typically begin most of my portraits in the eyes and here I'm doing using a very small detail brush to get the details around the eyes. This portrait will be done in at least three layers, so don't get too hung up in the first layer. You're really looking to lock in so that later on you can add some further details. When it comes to mixing skin tones, I use a basic starter point for all of my skin tones. And you can find my recipes for the skin tones in the little booklets that I have available over on my website. These handy little booklets are jam-packed with hints and tips on how I paint portraits and pet portraits. Even though I start with a basic skin tone recipe, I will add a variety of different colours to that basic starting point. Here you can see around the eyes how I've added grey tones to the basic skin colour. The shadows around the neck are painted using a basic shadow colour. Again, this recipe can be found in those little booklets. And then to that, I've added touches of grey to tone the saturation down. Once again around the mouth you can see how grey the tones are and this is using a basic flesh tone with some greys added into that. I've even put a little touch of ultramarine blue so it's a very blue grey colour. This portrait took over 20 hours to complete um, and was done in three layers. This of course is far too long for a YouTube tutorial and I am hoping that this lovely taster gives you some examples of how I work. However, if you'd really like to deep dive into learning my methods of portrait painting, then please do check out my online course. I take you through six full length portraits as well as 10 extra studies and I also run a Facebook group where you can share your coursework with me. I do hope you enjoy the rest of this um, 
YouTube time-lapse demonstration. I've kept this particular demonstration a little bit longer so you can see more of the process. Sit back, grab yourself a brew and enjoy and thanks so much for watching. Here I'm using a palette knife to actually cross hatch into the jacket. First I block in the basic colours and then I'm using a cross hatching scratching effect to create the texture of the jacket. I know many of you guys were asking how I'd actually created that so I thought I'd pop back on and give you a little hint on those effects that I've achieved just using that knife.
thought I'd point out at this point, I'm now on the third layer of um, this portrait. So I'm able to add some more details. And this is going to be a variety of dry brush glazing as well as glazing with little bits of medium. So really now on this third and final stage, there are three areas of focus. Number one, I'm looking for my br brighter brights, my highlights, and then I'm looking at my darker darks, that's number two. And then finally, really focusing on those final details, such as tiny hairs in the eyebrows, the sparkle in the eye, small hairs on the head, and things like that. So those three things are what you should be focusing on in your third and final layer. As I come towards the end of the portrait, I really want to tone down that very vibrant blue background. So here, this is a mixture of cadmium orange and a little bit of ultramarine blue and white and then some medium. And as you can see, cadmium orange is the complement of blue. And so it really has the effect of graying down that, um, that blue background, desaturating it a little bit. And I'm using my fingers and mops to actually blend that into the background. Of course, the initial blue layer was already dried because this is the third layer. My apologies at this point, I hadn't realised the, um, the camera had just gone slightly out of focus, but hopefully you can still see everything that you need to see. And here is my final painting of the late Prince Philip. I really do hope you've enjoyed this YouTube demonstration. And again, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And again, if you can add your comments down below, the algorithm really does love it when we have that engagement. So, and again, it's always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.